All right, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for your daily dose of cryptocurrency. My name's Austin, and today I wanna to clue you in on the top stories making news in crypto today. And stick around to the very end of today's video, and I wanna give you possibly one of the most feel-good stories that we've seen involving Bitcoin that I've seen all year. But like always, hit that like button, and let's check out where we stand in today's crypto market. Bitcoin dominance is creeping up. So what happened? Bitcoin rose in price. These altcoins followed in price. They rallied right after Bitcoin. And now Bitcoin is trying to rally again as its dominance grows. So as we test a possible $5,300 Bitcoin, which we've tried and tried and tried again, as we test it for this third time this week, if slash when we see a possible breakout into the upside, I will let you know. This chart got uploaded seven hours ago and I thought it was very telling on where the different altcoins and bitcoins in terms of their developer activity stood against each other. This graph ranks the monthly new number of questions and answers from the developer community of each different altcoins. So it's judging each different crypto's activity from the developers. Bitcoin is in blue, Ethereum is in red, Monero in orange, Stellar or Tezos right down here in yellow. So you'll notice that from 2012 to 2016, Bitcoin was the only cryptocurrency that really had developer activity, also because some of these altcoins weren't invented yet. You'll notice that in, at the top of 2018, when cryptocurrency saw its all-time highs, Bitcoin, but especially Ethereum, had the most developer activity probably because Ethereum was that ICO machine at the time. But if we look at where we are today, which developers are the most active? You'll notice that Ethereum still has the most developer activity on their network. Tezos coming in number two, Bitcoin number three, and then you have EOS and Stellar coming in at number three and four. Now the question is, does Ethereum, for example, do they just have the most questions? Is their network the most complicated to understand and is therefore that why they, they have the most development? Or do they truly just have the most developer activity on the network? In my opinion, it's a bit of both. Either way, I'd love to see more graphs like this. This, These visual kind of things, they really help me digest the crypto market and compare these altcoins with Bitcoin with each other. Either way, besides Ethereum and Bitcoin, Tezos and Stellar and EOS seem to have the most developer activity. This could be very telling to see where developers go and to see where dApps are created. Those are the ones that are probably gonna have that killer dApp created on their network. Next up, YouTube star PewDiePie to exclusively live stream on a new crypto powered platform. Do you subscribe to PewDiePie? Whether you do or you don't, you gotta respect what he's accomplished in his years on YouTube. He has some of the most, I think he either has the most or the second or third most subscribers in the game. This is a live count right now, currently up to 93 million. He's about to pass 100 billion, probably by the end of this year probably most definitely by the end of this year. You gotta respect it. Maybe you subscribe to it. But either way, he's choosing to go onto a new cryptocurrency powered platform. Why is this? It's because especially over the last year, year and a half, for a lot of these top YouTubers, or these top content creators, YouTube's been giving them problems. And PewDiePie wants to go on a decentralized platform where he's not at risk of YouTube shutting down how he makes his money. Felix Kleiberg, a YouTube star known as PewDiePie on the video sharing platform, has recently signed a deal to exclusively start streaming on cryptocurrency powered live streaming platform DLive. I've never heard of DLive, but the significant part to me is that it's going to be exclusive. He will no longer be live streaming on other platforms. Now, he still will be putting out his pre-recorded YouTube videos, his main thing on YouTube, I believe. He's not giving that up, but live streaming exclusively on the crypto platform DLive. Starting April 14th, the YouTube star will start live streaming on DLive, a decentralized community created by the Lino blockchain on a weekly basis. That consistent content, he knows the key. To support other content creators on the platform, PewDiePie is also set to donate up to 50,000, I think this is supposed to be 50, this is 50 hundred, I think it's supposed to be $50,000 to a total of 100 content creators. So he is that big fish, and this is pretty cool. He's donating money to help 
launched this platform to help get other content creators on the map. This is that exact tweet from DLive. The keywords again are exclusively live streaming on DLive network and yes, right here, $50,000. This was the exact amount to other streamers. Honestly, this could be big. If PewDiePie continues just once a week, once a week, he knows the game, consistent content. That's how he got so big. If he can consistently put out one live stream a week on this platform, he's gonna bring a lot of these subscribers over time on DLive into cryptocurrency. I would say DLive's main competitor is Theta Token on the Theta network. They're also a big player, but while Theta Token, but while Theta Token, wherever it is, while they have the creators, some of the creators of Twitch and YouTube, DLive has, DLive has the Brad Pitt, the Adam Sandler, I don't know, the biggest name for YouTube. We will see. I will keep you updated. Three more news stories, and then I got something to make you feel good. We all like that. Next up, U.S. lawmakers reintroduce bill exempting Bitcoin and crypto from federal securities laws. If this goes into effect, this could have huge implications on the taxing of cryptocurrency and the definition of a security. They have dangled this carrot in front of us before. Over and over again, they seem to dangle this carrot, introduce the bill, only to have it denied. But you know what? This cryptocurrency market, it's different than where we were three months ago. It's different from where we were last year, and it only takes one. This could be that one. U.S. Representative Warren Davidson has reintroduced the Token Taxonomy Act, TTA, the, bi the bipartisan bill. The bipartisan bill will establish the digital token as a new digital asset class exempting certain cryptocurrencies from federal securities laws and making them subject to a new tax structure. These are the bullet points if this passes, and I really hope it does. Exclude digital tokens, that's cryptocurrency. Exclude cryptocurrency from the definition of a security. Amend the Securities Act of 1933 and the Securities Exchange Act of 1934. Obviously, acts that need to be updated into the 21st century. Create a tax exemption for crypto to crypto trades and create a tax exemption for non-cash gains realized through the sale or exchange of cryptocurrencies. These would be the two most important bullet points for me. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. Next up, true USD, which is a stablecoin, audit shows full US dollar backing. Really Tether right now is the main game in town. Where is Tether? At the moment at one point it was like top 10 back in the most bearish wow it's still top 10. all right right now tether has over 2 billion uh in market cap tethered to the stablecoin tether it's the main game in town yet it is not it's not truly been audited by any notable third party big potential shadiness for tether if you're going to use a stablecoin which honestly to cash out or just to simply hold your money right now you have to whether you like it or not usually people have to go through stable coins true usd is the one to go all right and second from last piece of news this one's big for omise go omise go's omg network goes public in plasma breakthrough let me clue you in the team <clears throat> the team behind omise go omg have today realized a major milestone enabling public access to the alpha release of its so-called OMG network. What is that? It's a proof of stake and infinitely scalable plasma blockchain with a decentralized exchange built into its core consensus layer for the very first time. The two key points are infinitely scalable and decentralized exchange built onto its core consensus layer. It's incredible news and I have no clue what this is going to be, but let's just check it out. OMG has this affected the price? Interesting. Not really. It's just up with the rest of the market. Uh, either way, I hold some OMG, um, and this is obviously great news. The network's alpha version, which the Omise Goes team are calling Ari. Ari is the Thai word for hospitable, gentle, and accommodating, is believed to have reached a level of functionality and stability that is ready for public testing and feedback. So this is the next step. 
next part of OMG possibly being a main contender in the coming few years. And where it ranked number 27, honestly, it used to be a little higher. I think this puts OMG back in the game. Let me know down below if you're invested in Omise Go. Last piece of news, this was really cool. The story of t over 27,000 pounds of food to Venezuela, all through a Bitcoin group. Now, this is incredibly long, and I'm not going to waste your time. If you specifically want to read this, they have some great pictures, then I'm going to leave this in the description down below. But what you'll notice is this is all through a cryptocurrency interest group giving all this food to Venezuela. Venezuela, from what we've seen in the last year, one of the most significant use cases for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Um, but this article talks about all about, if you want to check out specifically the hashtag on Twitter, hashtag food, not Lambos. Um, this talks about how the government kind of tried to shut them down until they realized this wasn't an American group. This was just a cryptocurrency, private cryptocurrency group open to the public. This is pretty cool. I'll leave this down below and let me know in the comments. If you end up reading this, let me know what you think. Let's continue the discussion down there. That's the video for today. Your daily dose of altcoin, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency news. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.